Hello my friends, today we are going to solve for the value of the trigonometric expression sine squared of 20 degrees plus cosine squared of 80 degrees plus square root of 3 times sine of 20 degrees times cosine of 80 degrees. If you want to have a try, please pause the video. If you are ready now, let's get started. I've got two ways to solve the problem. Here is the first way. The first method is to use the dual form of the trig expression. So what is the dual form in trigonometry? Keep watching and let's see how the magic works. Substitute sines for cosines and cosines for sines in the expression. So we can get the dual form of the original expression. Then what to do with this dual form? Let A equal the original expression and B equal the dual form. We will find there are sines and cosines in the two expressions. Recall, sine squared plus cosine squared equals 1. Cosine of 2 alpha equals cosine squared alpha minus sine squared alpha. Sine of alpha plus or minus beta equals sine alpha cosine beta plus or minus cosine alpha sine beta. Ok, let's continue the magic. Notice that a plus b equals the following expression. And what we will have is sine squared of 20 degrees plus cosine squared of 20 degrees equals 1. And cosine squared of 80 degrees plus sine squared of 80 degrees equals 1, 2. The remaining term equals sine of 20 degrees plus 80 degrees according to the formula I've just recalled. So a plus b equals 2 plus square root of 3 times sine of 100 degrees. That's the first equation we have got. Then where is the second equation? Take it easy. We will find a minus b equals the following expression. And according to the formulas I've just recalled, sine squared of 20 degrees minus cosine squared of 20 degrees equals minus cosine of 40 degrees. Cosine squared of 80 degrees minus sine squared of 80 degrees equals cosine of 160 degrees. And the third term equals sine of 20 degrees minus 80 degrees. So A minus B simplifies to be cosine of 160 degrees minus cosine of 40 degrees plus square root of 3 times sine of minus 60 degrees. Then what's the next step? Don't worry, recall again that cosine of alpha minus cosine of beta equals negative 2 times sine of alpha plus beta over 2 times sine of alpha minus beta over 2. Then cosine of 160 degrees minus cosine of 40 degrees equals negative 2 times sine of 100 degrees times sine of 60 degrees. We know sine of negative 60 degrees equals negative square root of 3 over 2 sine of 60 degrees equals square root of 3 over 2. So a minus b simplifies to be negative square root of 3 times sine of 100 degrees minus 3 over 2. Now we have the two equations that we need. What we want to know is the value of the original trig expression which equals a. In order to get a at the two equations, then we will have 2a equals 2 minus 3 over 2 equals 1 half, which means a equals to 1 fourth, and that's the result of the original expression. So you see, this method is very interesting. The dual form is just like another side of the coin. Sometimes it's very easy to solve trigonometry problems. Maybe you want to have a try on this problem by using the dual form. If you have got the answer, please leave your comment to let me know you have already know this method. Now let's come back to see the second way to solve the problem. Recall sine squared of alpha equals 1 half times 1 minus cosine of 2 alpha. Cosine squared of alpha equals 1 half times 1 plus cosine of 2 alpha and sine alpha cosine beta equals 1 half times sine of alpha plus beta plus sine of alpha minus beta. So sine squared of 20 degrees equals 1 half times 1 minus cosine of 40 degrees. 
cosine squared of 80 degrees equals 1 half times 1 plus cosine of 160 degrees. Sine of 20 degrees times cosine of 80 degrees can be written as sine of 100 degrees plus sine of negative 60 degrees. So the expression can be simplified as followed. Cosine of 160 degrees minus cosine of 40 degrees as is mentioned in the first method equals negative 2 times sine of 100 degrees times sine of 60 degrees. And now we are close to the answer. Notice that the last two terms can be vanished, so the result of the trig expression equals 1 fourth. And that's the right answer. Thank you for watching this video. I will solve other math problems in my next videos. If you are interested in solving math problems, please subscribe this channel and follow my videos. See you next time. Bye bye.